Hey everybody, it's Mike AK, That Reseller Guy. It's Monday morning, this weekend was crazy busy, we gotta get going. I set a new record for total number of orders in one weekend. Actually, I just scrolled on my screen, let me go back up to the top to see the exact number. 35 orders this weekend, and that's from Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Most I've ever sold in one weekend. Didn't quite hit the exact dollar amount to be a record, but close. $1,904 for this weekend. Yeah, 35 for 1904. Crazy busy weekend. Super excited. I've been working my ass off the last week getting cards and other inventory listed. It's almost December. Ready for sales to go crazy. And they did this weekend. Uh, th there were a lot of sports cards. I've been listing a ton of those. But we did have a lot of good thrifted items too. So I definitely want to show all of those to you. I'm going to be putting the, the pop-ups so you see the items. Not for all the sports cards. The ones that are like $3, 4 $5.00. I'm not going to pop those. Even if they were $10, I'm not going to pop it up on the screen. I'll show you the card. You can see what it is. Uh, we'll go over those. Uh, I put out a video over the weekend. Not many of you watched it. I figured a lot of you wouldn't. It's a SGC blind reveal of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I don't deal a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon, but every once in a while, when I find them at stores, I store them away, go through them every once in a while, see which ones are worth a whole lot. I had some, so I sent them off to SGC for grading. They came back, so I did a blind reveal, which just means that's me looking at the grades for the first time along with you in the video. Uh, I didn't preview them ahead of time. So some good surprises in there, and I sold one of them already. I probably listed, I think, six of those cards, and there were 13 in that uh, video. So if you wanna go back and watch that video, it's one that I put on the weekend that I knew wasn't gonna get a lot of traction. So that's why I put it over on the weekend and just kinda hit it in my weekend videos. Anyway, we're gonna get into the sales here. Again, 35 items. So this is, there's gonna be a, this isn't gonna be a quick little five minute video. Uh, $1,904, I'm excited. That's item shipping tax all included in that. Uh, one really big sale and some other really great ones too. So let's get into this. We're gonna do the thrifted items first and then we'll do the cards next. I know some of you are trying to learn cards uh, as we go along through this. So definitely stay tuned, watch the cards, see what's been selling for me. Kind of gives you a good idea of uh, what to look for when you're out there, whether you're at thrift stores or whether you're going to garage sales or anywhere that where you can find cards. The market is still strong, even though prices have dipped a little bit, still a lot of stuff selling good in the card world. So uh, yeah, God, I'm rambling. Thrift sales, first up, we have this here. This is a game called Pirates. And these have like little collectible, oop, look at that. I gotta take the price tag off the box. I paid $2 for two of these little tins. So just like Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh or Magic or any of the other trading card games, this is a collectible ships trading card game. So I guess you do duke it out with your two different ships or you battle ships against somebody else. I don't know, I don't play the game. But there was a bunch of ships in one box that were new, unpunched, and then the other box had a lot of pieces and parts. This is the pieces and parts box. So there's a little bunch of dice, counters and then a bunch of loose ships that were already punched out and not assembled so rather than try to list those items individually or figure the ships out i just threw it into one big lot i paid four dollars for the two boxes got nine dollars back just for this group and then i have all the individual sh other ships listed separately that haven't sold yet but i assume at some point they will since we're talking little pieces and parts i sold these two little pieces and this is a man and a woman from the game Mall Madness. I had one that wasn't complete, so I went ahead and pulled all the pieces out. This is the first little set of pieces that I've sold from the game. Got five bucks plus shipping for these two little guys, or guy and girl. All right, I finally sold these. These have been in my store probably for a year plus. It could be pushing two years. I thought these were gonna be pretty good. A pair of two of these Nerf Surge Fires, they both work. Yeah, I tested them, they work great. Uh, but yeah, they just weren't selling. I reduced the price a little bit, had it down to $20 plus shipping for both of them. I think I paid $3 a piece for them. And unfortunately, I'm having to ship these back to New Jersey. So I'm gonna guess that I'm gonna make nothing off this sale. Because even though I charged $15 shipping, that's $35 total I charged because of the size of these, the size of the box is gonna have to be, and that's going back to New Jersey, it's gonna cost me quite a bit. So uh, I did not calculate this well but I'm not gonna lose money. So I will put it, put it down here at the bottom of this video, somewhere down here, what the total cost was for me to ship these back to New Jersey and whether I ended up making or losing any money on this sale. So I don't think I'm making a lot, but hopefully I'll still at least net a couple bucks. 
items like that in the future, I don't buy. I don't buy those type of Nerf guns anymore. They're just not worth it. Not worth the time and effort to uh, buy, test, clean, and do all that and list them to maybe make a couple dollars. Even if they were shipped locally here uh, to get $10 per dart gun, if you're buying them for three, four, five, it's definitely not worth it. All right, I'm scrolling up my list and we're going getting to these. We have some scrubbing bubbles. Now, th this isn't the great shower ones. There's one that they make for the shower that sells for some really good money. But this is a one-step toilet bowl cleaner. And you can see in the picture, like you, you mount it in the bowl and then you step on it and then it sprays the cleaner around. Found three boxes of these, one, two, three. And what happened was exactly what I wanted to happen on these. I had one person buy all of them. So I don't have to ship them individually. They spent $60. So they spent $20 per package. I think I paid $4 each for them was the amount. Uh, so yeah, I got $60 plus shipping for the three of these. Really happy about that. I'm gonna have to box them up. They're fairly heavy. This probably weighs about pound and a half to two pounds each. So it's gonna be a heavier box, but uh, shouldn't be too big, of a, too big of a box and I can uh, ship it for a decent price. Now I did sell a couple clothing related items. And the first one actually is really good. I actually really liked this jacket. So this is an ASU Arizona State jacket on the back there. This is a big puffy jacket made by Nike. And this is actually school issued. I found it at one of the stores down near ASU and it had like their name and jersey number right here on that. So I know it was associated with some sport somehow that it was a school team issued jacket. Really nice, great condition. It looks like they might have worn it, you know, once or twice out here in Arizona. You don't need jackets as heavy too often. And it's actually going GSP up to Canada. I don't think Canada's really this way. Actually, if I got to think about it, Canada is, uh, yeah, actually it's that way. A long way that way from Arizona. But uh, this jacket sold really well. I had it in my store for 50 bucks plus shipping. Sound an offer for 10% off. They took it. $44.99 plus shipping. Really nice sale here. So I'll have to box that up, ship it to Kentucky, and they will send it that way. And the other was a paintball jersey. And I've sold quite a few of these through the years. It's one of the clothing things that I'm getting to know fairly well. There's a couple of decent brands. This is one, this is Empire. There generally, there's a little bit of padding in the shoulders and sometimes a little bit of padding down here in like the wrist elbow area. That's how these can kind of be identified. Picked it up for $6. It sold through offer, I think $26.39. Is that the weird amount that it sold for? It sold for 12 or 15% off. Uh, but really nice jersey here. This one's pretty cool. Fantastic condition. I mean, it looked like new. So uh, that's why I picked it up. Got $26 and change. So the little Barry Sanders poster. I've talked about these in the past. I have four different people that I found these Starline mini posters for a couple years back. Slowly, slowly, slowly selling them. I actually have probably sold more of these in my, in my antique booth than I have off of eBay. I put these in this rigid holder, put it in my booth for $5. And I've probably sold six to 10 of them over the, the couple of years that I've had them. This is only the second Barry Sanders one that I've sold off of eBay. And it sold for, I think it was through offer as well. Where is it on my screen here? $7.19. So yeah, I had it at eight bucks, sent 10% off and they took it. So 719 plus shipping. Uh, still, I have pennies into each of these. So I'm, I'm probably netting five bucks on each one of them. Next up, a bat. I went into a store probably two to three weeks ago and had a really good bat score. I think I bought three or four of them that day, and this was the best one of the group. So this is a DeMarini fast pitch softball bat. Now, you're probably not gonna see it here. I'll show it up close, but you can see, yeah, you can see it all right. Look, it is fairly scratched up, so it's well used, but the grip was in good shape. There's no cracks, no dents. You just kind of got to feel all over the bat. Just make sure you don't feel anything that shouldn't be there, a crack, a bump. Uh, a dent, any of that sort of stuff. So this is a really high quality bat. Looked up the comps and was shocked to see how much they sell for. Uh, I sold mine probably a little lower than some of the others just because of how scratched up it is here on the barrel. But I ended up getting $129.99 plus shipping. So yeah, they're about 150 bucks all in for a used fast pitch softball bat. So imagine if you found one of these in really good shape, probably $150 easy for one of these. So look here, I'll show you it again. That, DeMarini, and that's what it is. The CF8, I believe. Yeah, the CF8 line, really good bats. All right, this next one I had stored up on my shelf up there. This is Tripoli, but this is the 75 Years Diamond Edition. Only one of these that I've ever found as being the Diamond Edition. Unfortunately, there wasn't a listing for this on Amazon, so I had to put it only over on eBay. All the Tripoli's sell for less on eBay than they do on Amazon. I actually sold three 
of the regular AAA games like this, the standard deluxe version for $45, actually $44. Uh, sold three of those in the last week over on Amazon. Uh, they're really good sales there. And that's sort of like the lower price. They, the price goes up as we get closer to Christmas. I probably should have upped my price. I think last year I was getting $50 to $60 per game, but they don't sell that well during the regular time of the year. It seems to be only a Christmas type thing. I don't know why. Maybe everybody gets these for Christmas. Either way, I'm rambling about AAA. This one sold for $30 plus shipping on eBay. I bought a special box just to ship these. Yeah, I bought 25 of them a while back. They cost a little bit over a dollar box, about a dollar 25, but it makes shipping these very easy. It's a 16 by 16 by three box. It fits this nearly perfectly. You can't fit the big scrabbles in those boxes. I think about like 17 by 17. So you have to get a bigger box for uh, the big scrabble turntable ones. But either way, I'm still rambling, Tripoli, 30 bucks plus shipping. I was glad to get rid of this. I'm always happy that the Christmas stuff sells at Christmas time. I don't want it in my store after Christmas because it's probably gonna sit there for a while. Christmas does sell year round, but just not as well as this time of year. So here we got Rudolph. Let me uh, see it. Let me have him play for you. It will be an order, sir. All right. So it works. It's in the box. And uh, yeah, what did I get for this? I got 16, no, $19.99 plus shipping. I bought a bunch of these at uh, Goodwill during the middle of the year. I had a bunch of the other characters. The other characters actually did sell. They were fairly rare, but uh, the Rudolph one took quite a while. 20 bucks plus shipping. I did sell the first one of these needle craft and Christmas craft kits that I bought. Picked up, I think six or eight of these at one local thrift shop, paid anywhere between a dollar and $3. They were all marked differently. So I'm just saying I have about $2 into this one here and priced them all around $25, except for one that was expensive. One I priced for over a hundred dollars. Yeah, and there's a lot of watchers and lookers. It will sell before Christmas, I promise you now. Uh, but this one here, this sold for $22.45. Yeah, I gave a little bit of a discount. $22.45 free shipping. I'm just going to put it into a poly mailer. It's going to ship out first class for probably $4 to $4.50. Uh, so yeah, probably netting $15 on this. That's pretty good. All right, I think this last one is, uh, this is the last of the non-sports related sales. So uh, yeah, we'll get into this one quickly. Bam. This was awesome. I found this at a Goodwill, Department 56. It is from the Grinch and this is a Whoville sweet shop. The box is pretty beat up, but I opened it up brand new inside, not broken. At Christmas time, Goodwills roll out tons of Christmas items, but generally I find that these houses are broken a lot of the time. Brand new, they sell for up to about $80. Maybe you could push a hundred, but 80 seems to be what they go for new. This one being, we'll call it new in a damaged box, I ended up getting $62.99 plus shipping. So uh, really happy. Uh, this was priced pretty cheap too. Was, I think it was like five or six dollars. I was really shocked that it wasn't broken. It was priced fairly cheaply and that nobody else at that store bought it. So uh, great little, great little flip here. All right, let's get into the card stuff now. I know you're ready for it. Uh, so first off, you know, if, you, if you're new, you're still watching this, you, ha you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please hit the subscribe, help support the channel, give the video a thumbs up, do all those good things. All right, so let's get into the sales. I have one buyer, his name's Steven. He's been buying a lot of these bulk lots that I listed. I haven't been doing a ton of them lately, but over the weekend, I got a couple out and he bought them for me. Uh, I didn't even put them on here because it's so many cards. It's about 1,500 football and baseball rookie cards in two different lots, 750 football cards that are all rookie cards. Everyone is a rookie. There's no big names in there, but it's just good bulk if someone just wants to collect the cards or somebody resells and wants to sell the cards off at 25, 50 cents each, whether they have a card store, card shop, card shows, whatever they do, these are great lots. The other one is about 800 baseball rookie cards, uh, $30 per lot, $29.99 plus shipping. So he spent $60 plus shipping for 1,500 rookie cards. I think that's a pretty good deal. Of course, I sold a couple more of these sets, another T Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, $17.99 plus shipping. And this one here is Street Fighter. I've sold a couple of these recently. Uh, this one's only $9.99 plus shipping. Paid $1.50 for each of these sets, still moving uh, several of them every week. This is an item that I picked up at the local sports auction. It's a box of football album stickers. So if you see it like Target and Walmart, they sell these little photo albums or little sticker albums, and you can buy the little packs of stickers. That's what these are. These are just the little sticker packs from 1988. Paid $3 for this at the local auction, and it sold for 20 bucks. 20 bucks plus shipping, 
uh, yeah, I'm always getting good deals at the auction. So Joe Cruz, thanks for all the deals. All right, let's get in the sports cards. So look, we got more over here. Plus we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 other individual cards that sold plus these over here. Yeah, like I said, it was a crazy weekend. $1,900 in sales, it's amazing. It's it's amazing. Sometimes it's just mind boggling to me that you can find random stuff around and sell to almost $2,000 worth of stuff on a weekend on eBay. I'm gonna try to go on order off my screen. So it's gonna take me a second once in a while to flip through to figure out which one I got. First up, we have Cameron Thomas, and this is from Chronicles. This is his rookie card, but it's a purple foil version. And this uh, is numbered to 49. This card sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Since it's under $20, I'm gonna ship it out uh, in an RSVP envelope via eBay standard envelopes. It's gonna cost me 53 cents. All right, this one was really good. This next one, I didn't know exactly what to price it at. So I just kind of picked a number that I was happy at just because it's a low serial number card. It's numbered out of, let me see, 15, I think. Yeah, this card is number six of 15. You'll see it in the pop-up better. RJ Barrett of the Knicks. I believe this is his second year card. If it was a rookie card, it might have been worth 50 to $100, maybe, you know, maybe 80. Uh, I picked a price, $39.99. And uh, this one I won't ship in a bubble, or this one will ship in a bubble mailer for $4. It won't go standard envelope since it's over 20 bucks. Uh, so 40 bucks. I, I thought about running it as an auction, but some of these orange versions that are numbered out of 15, I saw some sales out there that were, you know, two to $10 for players, but other ones were a hundred bucks. So sometimes you just gotta pick a price that you're happy with. I'm happy with 40 bucks. All right, we got some good ones coming up. Next one, this is Kobe White. And this one sort of looks like a tie-dye prism, but this is called Panini Spectra Celestial Parallel. This one's numbered out of 99, sold for 10 bucks plus shipping, so it will go out standard envelope. And this next one I really like. This is another card that I picked up at the local sports auction. This is Trey Turner. This is a rookie year card, autographed, three patches, and it's also serial numbered out of just 35. Is that what it is? 35. Really great card. I actually didn't really know that this was worth as much as it was until I got home. Put it in my store for 60 bucks, sent on offer for 10% discount. They took it, $53.99 plus shipping. Yeah, really great sale on that one there. Uh, I think I paid $6 for that card at the auction. Yeah, don't tell Joe. He'll be mad that I sold it for that much. All right, next, Anthony Edwards. Yeah, he was, I think he was the number one pick, wasn't he? Someone correct me. Was he the number one pick in the draft when he, uh, his draft year? Anthony Edwards, this is a Donruss clear, clearly purple version or purple foil rookie card. So it's over 20 bucks plus shipping. And I did charge a dollar shipping on this one. So since it's under 20 by a penny, uh, I can send this out via standard envelope. All right, this next one, uh, I always like hacking names that I can't, uh, that I don't know how to pronounce it. So let me look this one up or let me try to pronounce it on. You can see it along with me. This is uh, Sandro Mamakalashvili. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, just, I just went for it. Uh, I have no clue who this guy is. No clue. Uh, looks like he played at Seton Hall in college. Uh, but this is an autographed rookie card numbered out of 49. And it's over $40. I have no clue who this guy is. But I got $40 for his autograph rookie. Someone let me know down in the comments, is he any good? Continuing on with basketball. Most of these cards are basketball because that's what this guy that I've been buying all these cards from likes to open up packs of. So uh, this is a basketball autograph rookie card from Contenders, but this is numbered out of only 23 for Angel Delgado, $14.99. Send out via standard envelope. Got to scroll up to some more here. Oh, okay. Uh, Hockey card, cheap one. This is Jonathan. It looks like Jonathan Toes, T-O-E-W-S, but I believe it's pronounced Taze. Someone correct me on that one as well. Cheap little insert, $3.59 plus shipping, going out standard envelope. The next one is a football card. I think this is the first football card for today. Sean Wade showed in his uh, Ohio State uniform there. This is an autograph rookie card numbered out of 15. Numbered seven out of 15, it sold for 10 bucks plus shipping, well, $9.99 if we want to get technical. And another cheap little insert card, $3.59 for this Robin Yount. This is called Blue and Carolina Blue Parallel. You got two different shades of blue. So yeah, $3.59 plus shipping, standard envelope. Uh, Denver Broncos, another football card. Noah Fant, I believe he's a tight end. He's not a receiver. I think he's a tight end. 
for the Broncos autographed. And this isn't as a rookie card. This one's from 2021, another $9.99 plus shipping, but it's a thicker card. So thicker cards, I like to ship out in a bubble mailer, not through uh, the standard envelope. They can get bent a little bit easier. So did charge $4 for shipping in a bubble mailer on that one. Two more of these here. Let's see, I'm scrolling up a little bit further. It took a while to sell the, uh, where is it? Okay, oh yeah, this one's, this one's another cheap one. Just listed it, it sold the same day, $4.99. Plus a dollar shipping, uh, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown from the Celtics. Uh, just just picked up, that was like in the latest batch of cards I got. Listed a few inserts from there. That one sold quickly. Uh, this one's a pretty good one here. This is Ramondre Stevenson. If you want to look on the back, that's uh, that's how his name's spelled. And it's, I believe it's Ramondre. I believe that's how he pronounces it. This is an autographed patch, serial numbered rookie card out of, what, 149 Sold for $60, $59.99 plus shipping. He's a he's a good rookie running back, but he's not their starter. He's kind of like their second guy. Damian Harris is their uh, main running back. But uh, but yeah, Ramondre is pretty good. If he ever gets a full-time gig, I think he's going to be a good running back. So that's the stack of just all the little single cards. We got more though. A couple weeks ago, there was a local card show. I bought a bunch of rookie cards and autograph cards from one guy. Spent $400, got about 600 cards. So I paid about 75 cents per card and I made some bulk lots on some of the lower end autographs. Uh, this is them. These are leaf metal draft autographs. You can see there's this many, I believe it's 31, look at the screen, 31 autographs sold for $40. So you got 31 autographs, $40. Do the math, was a dollar 15 a piece, something like that. I paid 75 cents a card. So I'm not making a lot, but I'm moving some of these lower end ones in bulk rather than trying to list them individually on eBay for three to maybe $5 tops on the ones that are selling much slower and guys that uh, either don't play in the league, got drafted and didn't got cut before the, the year started. Kind of some of the lower end guys, but 31 cards, $40. It's a great deal for somebody. All right, this one was pretty good too. Uh, this is Tyrese Halliburton, plays for the, uh, let me see, Sacramento Kings. A lot of six of his Panini Prism rookie cards from this year. But a little story to go along with these. Originally, I only had four of them. So I sold four to one buyer. He complained that a couple of them weren't in the best condition. Like it had a little couple little problems with it. I said, no big deal. Send it back to me. I'll give you a full refund. So I took the four that he sent me. I put two more with it. Sold, got six of them. Sold for $49.99 plus shipping. So what is that? $50. There's six of them. $8 and change per card. Uh, pretty good. Tyrese Halliburton. I did sell a couple of graded cards. Here's the first one, uh, Eric Davis. This is an 85 Donruss rookie card graded PSA 9. I have a 10 in my personal collection now, so I ha uh, wanted to get rid of the 9 that I bought. I bought it off COMC, a website that I sell cards on, and I, this is about what I paid for it. So uh, I'm kind of just getting my money back on it. $31.99 plus shipping. Uh, it's about the going price for these. So uh, I paid 30, got 32 after fees. Yeah, I'm probably losing a couple bucks. All right, just two items to go. Yeah, I know, we're deep into this video now. If you're still watching, thanks. Thanks for watching this far into the video. All right, one person bought two different card lots for me. I made them a deal on the shipping. Uh, a lot of people will ask if you combine shipping, whether it be single cards, card lots, absolutely. I'm always gonna combo things together to uh, make the sale. So uh, first off, uh, these are Derek Jeter cards, all retro spectrum, retro, Retro Spectrum insert cards from Upper Deck. These I bought at the local box lot auction. They were in a binder with a bunch of Derek Jeter cards. Just pulled all these out, paid $5 for that binder. Just this little set went for, I think it was uh, $30. Can't remember exactly, because uh, I'm looking at the com combined price. The combined price was $44 plus shipping. This is a little Mark McGuire subset uh, set from Upper Deck Victory, uh, McGuire Magic, so we got Derek Jeter cards, Mark McGuire cards, $44 plus shipping. And then we had the big sale of all. And, the, and I think earlier I mentioned uh, that I did an SGC graded video that I put out and this was the best card of all of them and it just sold this morning. So uh, we're, we're including it in today's total, we're including it in today's sale so I can show it to you. Uh, yeah, I was blown away that I got the sale and uh, got it this quickly. So. Uh, this is a Yu-Gi-Oh card. It's called Black Luster Soldier. I called it Black Lobster Soldier when I did my video, but it was graded in SGC 10. And to get a 10 from SGC is pretty tough, especially on gaming cards. Uh, a lot of nines, 9.5s, but to see 10s out there from SGC is fairly rare. So this card obviously was in gem mint condition and uh, probably one of the better cards from my submission that I could have got back as a 10. 
listed what I thought was going to be pretty high, $599.99. Yes, yeah, $600. I got $600 for this one card. Uh, and it was probably found at a Goodwill in a hanging bag or box. So, yeah, if you see those cards at Goodwills at your thrift store, it's not going to be guaranteed that you're going to get a Gem Mint one or one that could be worth as much in Gem Mint form. But if you see these foil cards in there, you can see how it's all shiny and everything. Oh, right there. Look, you see how that you get the shine on the card? It's called a foil. This one is an ultra rare first edition. So it's also one of the first edition cards. Makes it worth a little bit more. So, yeah, I'm amazed. I got $600 for one card. It pays for my whole submission. I paid $415 to get all of the card graded. So I'm already in the profit now. Any of the future cards that I sell is... Uh, 100% profit so amazing sale and uh yeah i'll definitely get this shipped out i'm going to ship it i put these into a poly mailer i put it into a box and i send it out with insurance and signature required especially on something that's worth 600 bucks you definitely want to spend the uh extra extra costs to get it there safely and uh, confirm that delivery all right i got a cat waiting to get in this door he's scratching at it you probably heard him thanks everybody for watching uh, i hope you like the sales i hope you're learning a little bit and having a little fun along the way with me so thanks everybody for watching I'll see you next time.